Hey guys, it's Chaco Chan, and welcome back to our channel where we make videos about our international family's life here in Nara Prefecture. So, usually we make videos about places that we explore in Nara, but occasionally we do venture out into other prefectures close by to explore what's over there. And so, today we are going to be going to Kyoto, and more specifically to Kyoto Suizokukan or the Kyoto Aquarium. Now, my kids love animals, they love all living creatures, bugs, sea life, obviously. And we've been to Osaka Aquarium, Kayukan, several times, and they love that place, but we've never been to Kyoto Aquarium before. So we thought, since it's only about an hour's drive from us, very close, we thought we would check it out today and see what it's like. Now, I don't really know what to expect because I've never been there before, and I didn't really do much research on it beforehand. So it's all gonna be brand new to me and my family and thought we would take you along with us to see what the Kyoto Aquarium is like. So just before we depart, I would so appreciate if you gave this video a like and please subscribe to this channel because it really helps us out and allows us to continue making fun videos like this for you. So without further ado, let's go and visit Kyoto Aquarium. Let's go.
look at that thick green. Eat it. Look at the 
to Kyoto Aquarium. What did you guys think about it? I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, going into it, not really knowing what to expect. I was a little bit surprised. It was a lot smaller than Kayukan in Osaka, but there were things there that you couldn't find in Osaka, especially the giant Japanese salamander or the Sansho wool, which my kids really loved. And I thought it was fascinating to see them. I think that's their main feature point at the aquarium there. I also thought the food at the little cafes that were there was really cute and it was fun themed like the Sancho, the salamander theme and I thought it was fun for the kids and the dolphin show was also really cool. It was neat to see them doing their tricks and I thought that they were treated pretty well and they looked like they were living a happy life there. So if you like this video again, please give it a like, make sure you're subscribed and we will be back next time with more videos of our family's adventures in Nara and surrounding areas of Japan. So until next time, Johnny.